And it is. It's a strong win against the feed. Second in a row. The Steelers into attack now. Fraser Hammett a long ball out to Jeff Hardy. And Hardy racing downfield. Gets it away to Dale Fritz. Fritz coming inside. Going again. He's going to give it to Brett Rodwell. Rodwell racing downfield. He only had one to beat. Well, the Steelers pouring it on. Here's Russell now. He gives it on to Hardy. They've been working in tandem. They're about three metres out the Steelers. Pinchinelli now. Gives it on to Gregory. Gregory goes round in circles. He gets away from Davidson. Still going. Gives it on to Hardy. He throws it to Hampson. Now Russell have got a bit of space. Numbers a flick pass inside. And Daryl Neville's picked it up for South Sydney. Well... Pace of the game just picked up a little bit there. South now with the ball, and they're deep. Here's Davidson racing down out in the backs. Now Maven with the ball. He's racing downfield. Can he get round Brett Rodwell? I think he can. Oh, he's been ankle tapped. But South Sydney's still going, and it's come back to Paul Roberts, and they'll score a great try. Well, it's amazing how the game can fluctuate from one end of the field to the other. Bronco Jura taking the kick. Moves in, hits it sweetly. And that's two points. So South Sydney go to the lead after about 25 minutes or so. Gregory now under Russell. Under Rodwell. He's in a bit of space. Gets a pass away to Ian Russell. He's heading towards touch. And it's been intercepted by Craig Coleman. On to Tony Rampling now. And he's been tackled strongly out there. Well, there's another intercept from intercept pass from the Steelers. We've seen a few of those this year. South Sydney, 20, 20 metres out. That centre field, Fennick now. That's a good pass from Brown, a flick pass inside. Good tackle from Michael Bolt there, stopped uh, what could have been a try. Well, they're going the blind again, South Maven this time. He's been well tackled by Rodwell, Morrissey and Bolt. Fennick from dummy half, did he get there? No, a little bit short, always trying something. South with it now. Coleman puts a little chip kick up. It's up pretty high. It's been dropped. That could be a try. It is. It is. Well, Bronco Jura's got a chance to put them further ahead. You see him now moving back. That's a good shot as he moves in. Hits it. It's going to the right. The breeze is not bringing it around. So it's no goal. And South Sydney leading 10 points to nil over the Steelers. Coleman now on to Jura. Neville and Davidson running wide and hard. Pops the ball up. He got it away to Jura. Good pass it was too. Jura looking for a runner. He's found Darren Brown. Oh, and a great tackle from Brett Rodwell. Did he get over? No, he didn't. A metre short, Brown. South on the attack. It's play on. Looks like a try. It is. Paul Roberts is second. Well, that was a soft one, but great play from South Sydney. Bronco Jura, very easy kick for him. Ten metres out or so. Moves in. Hits it sweetly. Certainly does. Well, South Sydney go further ahead. They lead the Steelers by 16 points to nil. Well, the Steelers have come up with that scrum win, so we've got O'Day out there at the moment, and also Martin Ebb for the Steelers. O'Day for South. That's Ebb with the ball now. 16 points to nil in favour of the Rabbitohs. Bolt now gives it on to Pincinelli. He runs the ball back strongly. And then they really must score pretty soon, the Steelers, if they want any chance of upsetting the leaders. I think South were offside again then, or two, two or three metres in front of the referee, but he's done nothing about it. Well, here's Gregory going straight ahead. He's going to score. Straight ahead, Andy Gregory. Well, Terry Fernley, there you go. He kicked them out. And Rod Wishart now will try and uh, bring some respectability back to this scoreline. 16-4. If he kicks it, it should be 16-6. <laughs> Moves in, hits it sweetly, and the touch judges agree. So South Sydney now leading by 16 points to six. Well, now South Sydney with it. So let's see if they come back into action. They, they'll be shocked a little bit by that try, I would imagine. And, well, there's a mistake by the Steelers. Not getting off the tackled player. Steps back. And he puts South further in front. Moves in now. Hits it pretty well. He's got the length. It looks all right. It's a great kick and the goal. So South Sydney go further in front. They're leading Illawarra by 18 points to six. So that was a major mistake from South Sydney. It's let the Steelers in again with a bit of a chance of maybe scoring. They're about 25 or so metres out. Gregory now 
dummies himself, goes straight, still stepping, still going, still going across field, Andy Gregory looking for a runner, he's still going, Andy Gregory, long pass out to Martin Ebb, he's got one to beat, can he do it, he gets it inside, Pincinelli now looking for it, he's got to give it to Andy Gregory, but it's been held up, would you believe, well, obviously up here in our commentary position, you couldn't hear the, uh, the referee, and I was watching the play there, uh, the pass from Gregory was real forward, I'd say. Neville now gives it to Rampling, running strong and hard, a good run, gets a pass away, looked a bit forward, it went to Roberts, and play on. Looked extremely forward, in fact. Well, five tackles, South pouring the pressure on, here's Davidson, he'll score, easy, so easy it was, big Les Davidson. Wasn't, uh, well, the goal has been kicked by Bronco Jura anyway. South Sydney, they've got the points on the board. It's been awarded as a try, 24 points to six. Maybe uh, it's that difficult also. <laughs> oh, there is Les Davidson, who's bounced off Chris Walsh. I think he's at the bottom of that. Davidson hasn't moved. They're very concerned here. Yes, Davidson, oh, he, he was more or less Polax there, wasn't he? Yeah, he'd, he'd go to the head being, I'd say, for 10 minutes. Well, the game's be practically over by the time 10 minutes is up. Well, he's getting a warm uh, round of applause now. Davidson as he makes his way off the field. And the Rabbits will be looking to put another try on the board if they can. Coleman now with it. And that ball's been knocked forward. Fraser Hammett will pick it up for the Steelers. It's been real play on. In fact, it's real a penalty. Well, for Hammett, it's no try. No try at all. Referee Cooley right back in the centre field. Now it's South Sydney through Andrews, onto Jura. He gets a pass away to Roberts. Oh, flick pass back into Maven. They're throwing it about like a hot potato at the moment, South Sydney. That looks like O'Day with it. That's five tackles, 22 metres out. Coleman now, dummying, jinking, long pass out to Maven. And he throws a wild one. It's been intercepted by Martin Ebb and he's racing downfield. I don't think anyone will get anywhere near him, Martin Ebb. Running away from the goalpost at the moment. Well, here's a change of fortunes for the Steelers and Martin Ebb will score the try. Against the run of play that time for the Steelers. Moves in now. Hits it sweetly. And it goes straight between the posts. The touch judges agree. So South Sydney leading in a while by 24 points to 12. And all over. Got his first touch, but the game, the siren's gone off. I don't think the referee's heard it at the moment. In fact, he has now. It's still play on. In fact, he's called it a halt, and the game is over at 24 points to 12 in favour of South Sydney. Just too good for Illawarra. Well, you know, if I said I was happy with the performance against Illawarra, I'd be a liar, you know. I'm definitely disappointed in our performance. I thought that we should have took better control of the game when we, went, we were leading them 16-0. We allowed them to get back into the game, and it's because we're not taking enough care.